Oh, you had you had a you had a lollipop, my little my little chubby boy. Are you getting are you getting big for me? Are you getting big for me? Ooh, I love when you're big for me. You're my you're my little goblin. I heard in my hand. Oh, we're live. Welcome to wine about it. I have blisters on my freaking feet. I called you the other day and I was going to tell you. Remember when I called you and I was like, oh, I guess I'll just wait to tell you. I was literally just calling you to tell you that I hurt my hand. Oh, really? Yeah, look at you it. You saved. Oh, sorry. Did I not give you the reaction you wanted? Hmm. That is messed up. Look at how the bruise stopped in front of my finger. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, maybe because the circulation's better. Well, that doesn't make sense. I don't know, maybe but I don't think it's broken because I can move it. And shit. Also, stuff. oh. We're not swearing at all the rest of the episode. I feel so bad. You idiot. I'm so sorry. You owe Fusion 20 bucks. Ow. Ow. Maybe. No, it's not broken. Um. Well, it looks bad. And I know I know you hurt your hand because you've been sending me photos. Also, you posted on Twitter. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be shocked right now. Okay. Well, now you know. Again. I'm on a football team now. Why? Because I want to play football. I love football. Uh, we're not getting picked enough, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend's on the team. And Peach oh. Stars. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's my dream. Is it tackle? No. No, God. <laughs> it's co-ed. Darion's on my team. <laughs> Imagine it was tackle he would, football. He could kill you. <laughs> No, it's it's flag football. Um and I'm learning but I'm learning the rules of football that I, I don't know. And I went to practice and I caught it and I jammed my finger. I've jammed my finger so many times in basketball. This has never happened. Football is the Yeah, that's sport. messed up. Yeah, it's so weird. Did I ever tell you my sister, she did softball and um this is in high school. I just remember getting the phone call and my mom losing her mind. My so in softball, you catch a ball and then you grab it with your other hand and you throw it. You catch a ball, grab it with your other hand, throw it. So they're w doing whatever. I don't know, but instinctually the ball comes. She catches it in her mitt, but she, she went to go grab it back out as the ball was coming. You know, just like muscle memory. Okay. And so then the ball hit this hand full uh -huh. force instead of yeah. her mitt, yeah. and it hit right here, and it caused her thumb bone to just pop out. <laughs> through her skin yeah <laughs> through her skin we had like a field house is like you know and so the the like coach throws her on the back of a golf cart and they're like driving from the field house trying to find my mom in the parking lot and i'm in the back of the car like it can't be that bad it can't be that bad my mom's like they said there's bone showing get out of the car go find your sister and i'm like i was like mom how am i what am i what how am i supposed to find a golf cart like what do you mean? Like, she's like, they're by the field house. And so I'm like running around, can't find them anywhere. And then by the time and I get back to the parking lot, they left my ass. Oh, ew. But they ah! left my butt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Starting here. Okay. We're not swearing the rest of the episode. Not swearing. Um, yeah, they left me because I couldn't find them. And I, I left my phone in the car or something. It was hard. And so I had to go find somebody to call my mom. And then I was like, where'd you go? And she's like, I had to take your sister to the hospital. And I was like, did you see that basketball player that one time that had a shin go through his whole oh, leg? Oh God. Yeah. I don't remember who that was or how that happened or why that happened. But yeah, like didn't his like whole shin come out? Dude. I am happy that I was never really good at sports because I saved myself from any of these injuries. My brother, one of the most tragic, like high school story, like things, he is a sophomore playing varsity is being scouted by colleges. Like oh, no. he is. The, yeah. And it's first game of the season. And he oh. goes up to like, not for like a dunk, but for like a something he's in the like layup or something. He's in the air and he comes to land and he gets bumped by a guy. And so he lands on his foot in a way that instead of like you land on your foot like normal or you fall over or whatever, that all of like the centrifugal force like went through his foot and shattered every bone in his foot. Have you ever broken a bone? Uh, No, I fractured one, but I've, I've never like broken one. Probably like toes Which and one? stuff because all my toes are crooked. What did you fracture? I've never broken or fractured anything. 
I fractured. Well, yeah, you did. You fractured a rib for sure. No, I didn't. I got an x-ray. Yeah, but didn't they say that it was like too small or something? Did they? I don't think so. I thought so. they did. I, I thought they like were I like, it's probably I'd... fractured. Did I fracture it? Can anybody fact check us? Because I'm sure we talked about it. <laughs> I thought you. I thought it was fractured. I don't think it. Oh. Or bruised, when I, maybe. When I. Yeah. When I took flight <laughs> after camp, <laughs> I we went to okay. There was a after a, shush camp a summer. Yes, there was a summer camp, and we had one of those blobs on the lake. And I went to the edge of the blob, the very edge. And then we had Zoyle, who's this six foot eight tall man, uh, jump off the pier on the blob, and he jumped, and I flew like so high in the air, and I landed on the blob, and it really hurt, and I had major rib pain, and then I got yeah, they didn't but I prep thought, us. But I didn't well. think I had fractured it. I also got the worst whiplash of my life. But anyway, what did you fracture? Um, I thought it was for some reason because we went to their urgent care, but maybe they just said it was bruised. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they the doctor was like told my brother that he probably wouldn't even be able to run again ever. That's so. It was really sad. sad. That was at so what, sad. At what age? Like seventeen. Sophomore year, so he was like fifteen. Oh. yeah and he had his That's whole crazy. like basketball was everything to him so he went to rehab and stuff like that or physical therapy and uh he was Son able to play basketball to again uh like senior year but it, he was he was never the same and he always is really speaking sad. of rehab you know what i i watched this show on netflix over the weekend it was called mm -hmm. uh the program it like just went up on netflix did you hear about it uh no but i almost watched it i f i thought it was about like is it about like the place where Paris Hilton went? No. Oh, it must be totally different. I don't think so. It's about they would mention uh, her, I think. it's or about a boarding it. school that that they send like troubled teens to. So the Doctor Phil thing, where they like come and arrest the children in the night and they take them away because yeah, they're that happened to Paris Hilton. Delinquent children. Oh, did it? I don't yeah. remember them talking about her. Maybe I missed it. Well, I don't know if it's the same one. Maybe it's just like crazy coincidence. But it um. Yeah, when she was, a lot of people don't know this, when she was young, she was, you know, a millionaire a child. And so she's like doing drugs and drinking and going to the clubs and partying and all this stuff. And so her parents, yeah, they sent people in the middle of the night. They hired one of these schools. There's one in uh, Utah. And uh, they're all over. Yeah. But the bad one, this is what she was talking about. The one in Utah, they like literally had kids die there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know if that's what happened to yours too. Yeah, so this this documentary or docu series is like this girl that was shipped off to one of these schools. She didn't even do anything, by the way. Okay, she like didn't really do anything. She was a fifteen year old or something. They got she got sent off to boarding school. She got caught drinking a Mike's Hard Lemonade, and then they arrested her in the night <laughs> and like Traumatic. took her to this boarding yeah. school thing. Um. And when she got in there, they wouldn't let her leave. She was there for 15 months. And it's this whole, the whole docu-series is un, like uncovering all of these, all of these schools that are for yeah. troubled teens. There's a whole Wait, did you watch it all? It. Yeah, I watched all of it. Okay. It's three episodes, I think. Um, but there's a whole industry for troubled teens because there's so much money in it. Like you can market. We have the best program. It's very culty. They're like, we have the best program to fix your family, to fix your teenager. Isn't that funny? It's crazy and then they charge tuition right so it's like seventy thousand yeah. dollars to send your kid there to a boarding school but it's a private institution so it's unregulated there are people that aren't trained it's like paradise for pedophiles and people that are Jeez. like abusing children and then your kids get locked in there and then they start manipulating the parents and they're like hey kids are manipulative they're gonna tell you anything to get you to right, take to them get home out of here because because they don't want to do the work. They're going to send, or, or, or if they, like, if you come and visit, they're going to be like, hey, it's torture. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and if they, if you send them letters, they're not going to let the letters go through. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so then the parents come to visit and then the kids are like, get me out of here, please. And they're like, no, no, <laughs> I was warned about this. You are staying yeah. and finishing this program. And then they pay these people all this money and they just abuse their kids for a year. 
two years, whatever, however long it takes for them being there. And it's just rampant with abuse. Sexual yeah, it's abuse, bad. psychological abuse, physical abuse. And they're they feed them like prison food to keep their margins as you know, as as good as possible. It's really crazy. And there are facilities all over the country still. Like there are still places you can call and be like, My kid won't go willingly. Can you help me? And they'll be like, Yeah, we have transporters and then they'll send people to handcuff your kids in the middle of the night and take them to these schools. It's so scary. And kids are dying because they're being improperly restrained by untrained adults in this facility. Yeah, there is there's one at like the the Utah place. I, I hope I wish I could remember what um it was called. This was all in Paris Hilton's documentary where they would use like food as a uh, punishment too. So they wouldn't let you eat. And this one girl like literally died of repercussions of starvation. Oh my like, God. Like, cause they went on a hike or something and like, she was like starving. So she passed That's out and died. Provo Canyon school. Provo Canyon. Yeah. And, the um, Paris Hilton, she like in the documentary, she, um, she had like a group of people that she hadn't seen since that school and they all got together and not like barely any of them could even talk about it. Like they were just so traumatized still. That's so sad. Yeah. The one, the one in the documentary was called Ivy Ridge and it shut down in 2009. I believe Provo Canyon is still open. Oh my God. I the whole wilderness thing, like going on hikes and stuff, the wilderness model of this like youth rehab industry is huge because the margins go crazy like yeah. they, they can market it oh, super send them well out to the middle like, of nowhere yeah they're gonna and they don't have to solitude. pay for their housing they don't have to yeah. pay for their food they just send them out into the woods and like abuse these kids and don't have to pay anything and they make a ton of money off of them and all they have to do is manipulate the parents into believing that it works yeah and these parents are so desperate because they don't know yeah. how to you know because yeah provo it's canyon still, still open provo canyon is still open yeah and it has a lot of like negative reviews like if you go let me look on google i remember after we watched the documentary because we watched the documentary on stream um who is still sending kids there what the hell it or maybe they deleted their google listing no no no. yeah it has 800 it, it's listed as a mental health clinic it has 835 reviews it has a 1.1 star review or stars rating and uh like yeah i've never seen something that low um how is it still in business what that is insane yeah how has paris hilton not been able to shut it down is that i guess that's not her she's tried but like what she's tried yeah it's like uh, the last review two days ago shut it down look if you have multiple people coming out about this place the only way i feel is they should be able to to keep it open is set up security cameras for observation i'd also impose okay this guy's like he's like saying you should you should have cameras and blah blah anyway this person said lost three teeth when i was here abused by staff spent a year here from 2011 to 2012 was involved in about 10 fights spent a lot of time in observation all the kids that were here during that period were hardened some should have been in juvenile hall there wasn't enough supervision or protection from violence other kids blah blah, blah. it's just like it never ends it ne crazy. these reviews never end Personal experience, I was here for over a year. I was severely beat by staff, uh, stripped naked for 24 hours in a holding cell uh, in the reflections area where my teeth were inserted into my lower lip for being uh, smash faced first into a wall multiple times. Uh, this place is not for kids or the human race. Uh, the male staff hit on little girls and asked them to do favors for extra attention. I was here around 2016. I was told this place would help me heal and learn from trauma. I experienced years as a child now as an adult i go to therapy for my therapy <laughs> do not recommend um yeah it's crazy the reviews are insane that's insane they said some insane stuff about ivy rich too they were like like you got you couldn't look out the window you like got minus point it was a whole point system so like you had to even up your points or something to get out so like you Dude. would get negative points for looking out the window and for looking at other kids and for smiling and laughing and breaking the rules and whatever. They made them like carry heavy boxes everywhere as a punishment. I scrolled through this. There's this girl that left a review. It says, 
We adopted a wonderful but deeply troubled nine-year-old from foster care, and she struggled immensely with psychological and behavioral problems. As she got older, due to her extreme behaviors, we had to send her to many hospitals and group homes throughout the state. None of them could handle her long-term, and many of them kicked her out. Provo Canyon School was the only place that was equipped to handle her aggressive, her attempts at running away, her complex issues, etc. They were wonderful. We absolutely loved her therapist and felt like she knew what she was doing and was completely invested in our daughter. Some places villainize parents. We loved how they offered different modes of therapy, including EMDR, which is so effective. It's unfortunate this place is getting such a bad rep from 20 or 30 years ago. It is now a completely different place. And then Provo Canyon replied to her and was like, thank you so much for the kind comments. If you kill kids, you have to at least rebrand and like restaff. Was it was it the same school? Like, w you can't just yeah. keep I mean, going. This, after this that. girl says 20, 30 years ago, but there's comments here. I went here in 2016. It was miserable. I went here in 2020. Right. It was blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was here that for a year, so 2021 weird. to 2022. It was okay for this until the second week. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Threatened us. Blah, blah, blah. Like, it's just like it's crazy, huh? Insane. Well, I am very. Paris Hilton set up a petition to get the school closed down. Over 210,000 sig signatures, nothing has worked to shut it down. Is There's that crazy? Just, yeah, Paris someone like Hilton Paris Hilton can't, Hilton get it can't shut do down. That. And she's got how many followers on Instagram? Like, I don't know. The people that run these things, though, have so much money. Like, the people that ran yeah. Ivy Ridge, they've gone on to open several other programs that have gotten shut down because of abuse allegations, but then they just rebrand and open a new one. Yeah. It's like a huge. I. I feel bad because I don't remember her name, but the the doc or the docu series is called The Program on Netflix. I'm very impressed with this girl because she went to this school and then went to LA and got like a film degree and then went on to make the series. She like brought a bunch of kids wow. together that she went to the school with and like they went back to the school and like walked you through everything and showed what they did. Catherine Catherine Kubler Kubler, thank you. Um and like showed what they went through and showed what their journey was to get in there, which is just reliving so much trauma. She like went out to interview people that worked there. She like went and found them. It was like very sting operation, very undercover. She had like a mic on. Jeez. She went to a a night, like a karaoke night where one of the guys was that that worked there and like recorded him singing karaoke. And then she um went up and sang like i'm gonna get you get you get you get you whatever and he didn't know who That's she so was funny yeah they put it all in the documentary i'm kind of scared for her but also very impressed because she sh she really shined like a massive light on what is a huh. crazy big industry that is a huge problem i never Dude, knew it's just so crazy yeah it's insane people are it's just so funny so because a, a school that would actually work like this would be ran by like love <laughs> Like, I'll tell you what, I went to Mormon summer camps. We had so much fun, so much Jesus, so much like love in the room. <laughs> Everyone would hug and they indoctrinated me just fine. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. you got to love these problems away. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. It's very, uh, it's very weird. I think, I think sad. a lot of it too. And obviously the kids are the one going through the abuse, but they're really like these schools are really preying on parents too. Oh, you know? yeah. They oh, just yeah. go and like find parents to manipulate and just like con them out of all their money. Well, what's crazy is like Paris Hilton in the documentary was talking to her own mom and was like, do you know how much harm this caused me? And the mom is just still she's like, like, no, she's That's like, I don't want to hear it kids, type thing. Like they just don't want to. Some of the kids in the series did that too. Their parents still think that they were like the school. One of the girls, she had never done drugs. She got brought to the school and then the people told her parents that her drug test lit up like a Christmas tree. So her parents were like, she's a drug addict. She had never done drugs. But then throughout her program at the school, she had to admit that she had done drugs because they're just like oh my wearing God. her down, you know, like yeah. interrogating her, being like, you have to take accountability or you won't leave. Like you won't graduate. So she's like, I did so much heroin, you know, even though she's never done drugs. And then they found her records at the school because it's abandoned and it's all there. And they found her file and they found her drug test. And it was negative. And she brought it back to her parents and her parents still didn't believe her. Like her parents still think that she had a drug problem. I don't know. It, manipulation is crazy. It's really, it runs deep, deep.
I don't know. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's the depressing documentary that I watched. But you guys should watch it. It's really, it's really interesting. <laughs> depressing documentary of the week. Don't worry, everybody. Yeah. Well, I learned a lot. Um. Wait, you didn't talk enough about your your football. So what are you doing? I'm playing flag football. It's not that. It. I'm just playing like in a rec. League. I know, but like how often? Once a week. And we have practice once a week. You guys are practicing. Yeah, that's how I did this. I was at practice. I was running routes. That's learning insane. how to run routes did you know do you, that do you guys have like when, plays yeah did you know that when you start playing when you start you do you know how football works <laughs> um because no. i do not i do kind of okay did you know that we you know when they hike it like when you start hike, the play yeah and they throw it to you that you uh -huh. can't throw it to someone else you can only throw uh -huh. it behind you huh what do you mean <laughs> like if someone throws you the ball and then someone else is running and they're like further ahead you can't then throw it to them why it's not allowed <laughs> i didn't know that as in practice Wait. that's what i did okay they okay, threw me okay. the ball someone hiked it to you someone well they hiked it to the quarterback and then the quarterback threw me the ball and then my boyfriend was in the end zone and i was like oh a touchdown so i threw him the ball and he caught it and everybody stopped oh, yeah. and they're like you, you can't, can't do that. throw it again Okay, that's crazy because you just you told me like three times well, that you didn't know that. No, I didn't understand what you're saying. You're saying you think you should keep being able to pass around. Well, now I know that you can't, but I thought you I could. thought when you explained this to me, you were the quarterback. And that's no, why I was confused. of course the quarterback can throw the ball. Okay, attitude job. all of a sudden, Miss okay. Football, chill. <laughs> no, okay, I mean. Whoa, I get it. Okay, yeah, the quarterback can throw the ball, but then you can't throw the ball. But you can't throw it behind you if you want. But that's kind of stupid. I didn't know that. I didn't know you could throw it behind you. Yeah. I thought once I thought once it leaves the I thought quarterback was Jesus of football. He chooses someone and then that person just needs to go. Yep. But I didn't know that's you could right. throw it behind you like basket like basketball. You can just pass it. Kind of like not really like basketball. Kind of Does anyone do those plays? Like what? they're run, 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 and then they look behind them and they're like, wait, Joey's open. And they throw it to Joey. I don't think it them. happens. I feel like I've never seen that. At all. Yeah. Because you just run. You just do. freaking run until you get murdered. You just run. Yeah. It's a little risky wow. to throw it back. Have you seen the, have you seen the like football on ice where if you take off your shirt, you get to tackle someone? No. It's just, or maybe it's soccer or basketball. It's something... They're on ice, and in order to tackle someone, you have to rip off your shirt, and then you can grab someone and literally, like, suplex them. It's crazy. That is not what my league is like. You should find one like that, though. I don't want to. I don't want to tackle sweaty old men. Sounds gross. I don't think you'd be capable of what they do. Mean. <laughs> I could give it a oh. shot. Um, oh. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's my new passion. Great. Dude, <laughs> why is my one eye not opening all the way? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Audio listeners? Hello? Uh, What's this one? She looks like a Furby. Am I having a stroke? No. It's fine. You're just thinking too much. You're just thinking too hard about it. Oh, it's they're good now? Oh, Saved. you know what it is? I think this one has more mascara. Oh. So it just looks darker. Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy we figured that out. <laughs> um, We both had some crazy neighbor experiences this week you want to go first yeah so i you know the deco den den if you didn't if you missed last week's patreon episode i'm sorry you don't get any context here um <laughs> the deco den den is in full speed it's my okay. new deck and deco den shop okay um and i found a perfect perfect uh spot for it i decided that's exciting she hasn't told me about yeah. this yet okay yeah because i looked at it today so i went and toured this is what's crazy i went and toured this place that i thought was perfect and then i was like oh, little little tight i don't know it's kind of perfect but it's a little tight and then she goes get this next door opened up and i was like let's meander so me we meander next door it's perfect it's perfect it's like the one next door like, or both of them together the one next door it's oh, about okay. like three more feet and that's all i needed okay and it has like a different area that I could set up like late night show type thing, like a multi-use studio, essentially. Cool. Um, 
that would be huge and great for me. So okay. I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh my God, it's perfect. You know, uh, it it's LA. Things are expensive. Oh, oh no, it's fine. It's literally fine. Like I'm, um, I don't think I'm going to like put an offer on it. Fine. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my um, God. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's like perfect. Like not kidding. I'm giving them a little um, bit of context, just a little bit. She's starting a okay. business. That's all. I'm starting a business. Okay, continue. <laughs> um, and so it's like super expensive because it's LA. Um, and so I'm like, okay, like you can negotiate down, of course, you know, but let me go figure out what the going rate is. Like, you know, because landlords are going to tell you, yo, pay this much. But then you go across the street and they're like, we're only paying this much over here. And you're like, dope. Okay. Me? A sharer, a sharer and a carer, you could call me. I'm a sharing, caring, caring. I don't want to be a Karen. Crap. Uh, uh, my name's Baron. I'm a Sharon Baron. I I think it's fine to like share information. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I don't know. Oh, I thought okay. this was okay. fine. So I, I walk up the street because essentially it goes um, this, the room, the shop. It's like strip mall. Imagine strip mall. Okay. Yeah. So my shop. Uh, the shop I was looking at that is a little too small for me, uh, a currently open, like, uh, uh, boutique, another boutique, uh, an, another boutique. Okay. Are you going to tell us how much it costs a month? No, I feel like I shouldn't. Oh, okay. That's I always I get canceled because no, 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 no. Cause this is what happens. I talk about how much something costs and then people are like, can like, you, you, you're getting I scammed can do it for $200. You're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, uh, okay. Like, yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and then then people are like she's not spending her money wisely or she anyway shut up i'm doing my best so i uh, i walk to the nearest like boutique in the strip that's open and i walk in there and they're great and they're talking to me they're like how are you and i'm like i'm good how are you guys and I'm like good and they're like what brings you in here today i was like i actually have a crazy question and they're like what like so nice you know and they're like my age i'm like great they're like what and i was like Oh, I potentially am renting that place right down there. We're going to be neighbors. How fun is that? And they're like, that's so cool. And I was like, but before I like negotiate, I was curious. Could you guys tell me how much you guys pay rent? What is your reaction there? <laughs> well, I feel like this is a leading question because I, I know that they're crazy. So I know that it wasn't positive, <laughs> but no, <laughs> Genuinely, if I was in that situation, a stranger came in, I may be, a, I may be a little bit like, oh, uh, maybe. I don't know though. I don't own a business. I'm like, like such that. an oversharer that I just yeah. didn't think I was being socially inept, and I, it's proven that I'm not being socially inept because I was like, was it those people? And then I, I went to the next people, and they were told me, and I was like, great. <laughs> so, but I don't know. I guess if I was like living in a like a co a community or something, and then. Someone was like, how much do you pay? I'm thinking about living here. I'd be like, oh, I pay this. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Why? So they say? she instantly snaps and she was like, oh, that's a highly inappropriate question. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought it was like, I was I, like, I'm just in the, you oh know, I'm God. just in the, I'm just in the negotiation phase. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I didn't know. Uh. I've, oh I've never, I've never done this before. Did it again. That's crazy. <laughs> well, and then she's like, she's like, um, she's like, well, if you can't afford it, you shouldn't rent it. And I was like, that's not what I was saying. I was just trying. I'm just like, you know, I thought it was good business to like make sure that like, you know, I'm not getting blindsided or anything like that. You know, like just making sure I'm negotiating with every, all the information I can get. Like, it's totally fine. You don't want to share that. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, I'm not from here. I'm not from California. I'm from a smaller <laughs> community and everyone's like, we're all sharers there. Like, that's what I said. Yeah. I was like, I'm from a smaller place and we're all sharers there. And I just, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know it was, uh, uh, inappropriate to ask. And she was like, Oh, we're sharers here too. Okay. I was like, Oh, I was like, okay uh i'm sorry i i didn't say you weren't i was just saying like i'm sorry if i'm not you know if i'm not social like being socially aware I, I i just didn't know that this was unacceptable and she was like she was like well you could be ruining relationships that tenants have with landlords do you realize that 
And I was like, uh, oh, okay, okay, so you're weird. sleeping with the landlord is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get it. Congratulations. Uh, I was like, uh, she's got a man. I know. I know. And this is obviously I'm joking here. I don't think she's actually sleeping for the record, for the record. She's going to find I'm joking. Asleep. This is a joke. Pissed this is a joke. Off. She's going to be pissed off. Um, and, and I was like, oh, uh, I was like, I've, I've again, super sorry. Wasn't trying, wasn't trying, wasn't trying to, you know, I'll, I'll see myself out. Like, no worries. I was like, no worries. Like, but I was like being, I was being really nice. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, no worries at all. I was just trying to get information, just trying to make the most like educated choice here, you right. know? And she was like, well, she's like, well, feel free to look around if you want to buy anything. <laughs> okay. I guess that's like her just, uh, that's just her exiting the conversation. I was like, oh, it's right. kind of a, yeah, it's, an, it's annoying, but uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. It was so then, just so, so then you decided to go have the same conversation next door? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And they told me in two seconds. And I was like, okay. okay interesting i and would never ask out the that question that to anyone ever again <laughs> i'm getting offered is pretty free it's uh, not pretty free pretty fair yay Good. so okay that's well, all i I'm wanted to know answered. wow interesting so uh you will not be supporting her business and you will not be you will not be business neighbor buddies well and i asked him too i was like uh, i asked the other person i was like why why have why have, why did they leave like why did those stores leave and she was like oh because the landlord just raised the rent Mm -hmm. and i was like oh wow what great context like you know because right. i like is business bad here do you not get people on foot walking by like mm -hmm. what's the situation like that's what i'm trying to figure out like did they go did two places happen to serendipitously go out of business at the same exact time right um well i'm glad the next one answered you that is good information yeah because it's like have. oh that's good to know that they just the rent got raised and then they were like oh never mind and then also the rent got raised means everyone's rent got raised cool <laughs> yeah yeah Jeez. i don't i don't know what i would say i don't i would like to think that i wouldn't be rude but i could i could imagine myself being like sussed out if i didn't know you at all yeah i, I just thought i entered very friendly but maybe i am socially unaware i just i just know if someone asked me i would tell them i'd be like oh this much yeah but maybe maybe it's because i've never had like a deal with a landlord like maybe for all i know they're doing like some sort of trade you know and right, she didn't want yeah. people onto her. Like, I, I don't freaking know, you know, or maybe right. I don't know. It was just like, it was just so strange. That is I just, strange. I just don't know. I don't get the point of getting like defensive. Right. That's weird. But my neighbor, <laughs> my neighbor, my neighbor, I live in rural Texas and rural. rural Texas. And my neighbors are very hit or miss. They're either like very kind southern like my neighbor with all the goats right very kind southern gentlemen love him to death you know whatever or they're like not yeah like that and i got a voicemail from my neighbor the other day and she was like your dog <laughs> she was like your dog is on my property and he has a collar on and i know it's your dog and if he doesn't get off my property, my dog, I had to put my dog up to keep him away from your dog. And if your dog, if you don't come get your dog off my property, I will shoot him. That's awesome. She's cool. <laughs> right. And she also described the dog on the voicemail and it was like, not my dog. And and I, I went and checked my dogs anyway, even though they've never been, they've never gotten out. And obviously my dogs were here and Ella's dog was here. And those are the only dogs that live here. So then I called her back and I, I call and she doesn't answer. She's not like, hello. And I'm like, oh, hey, like got your voicemail. She, she picks up the phone and she goes, I hate to do this, but your dog is still running around on my property and, and my dog's not a fighter and I don't want our dogs to fight. And I, and I will shoot him. I hate to do this, but I will shoot him. If you don't come get your dog. I literally had to interrupt her to get her to stop <laughs> doing it and i was like hey hey hi sorry um yeah got your voicemail that's not my dog and she was like whose dog is it and i was like i don't know and then she hung up isn't that crazy Did that you is not whose dog it is i think it was my other neighbors <laughs> i called my other neighbor and then <laughs> 
and, and they're I, like there's a dog on my property i'm gonna shoot and it no and she doesn't pick up and then she leaves me a voicemail and the voicemail is two full minutes long which is the maximum length of a voicemail and she was she started telling me about how she couldn't get to the phone because she's got a landline and her cell phone and she leaves her cell phone in the car and if she goes inside to sit on the porch then she can't get to her cell phone because it's sitting in the car and it's not in her house so she can't hear it when it rings and the full moon it's it's darker than it should be tonight and she thinks maybe or it's lighter than it should be tonight at this time so she thinks maybe there's a full moon okay she didn't even say anything do we know what happened to the dog (laughs) oh my god i don't know but the thing about the dogs out dogs out here is everyone just lets their dogs free they are free dogs they they're farm dogs some of them have collars on most of them don't they just like run around the dirt roads and and enjoy their life and so it was just one of those dogs it's probably someone's livestock dog but uh yeah she she just started talking about the full moon and i didn't know what she was talking about so Maybe she's a werewolf and it was actually her. (laughs) She's like, oh, I didn't get your call. I, uh, (laughs) she's just, she was just wolfing out, you know? Yeah. (laughs) She had a good Uh, cover though. Cause she left her car and the, you know, her phone was in the car and then. Neighbors are really, they're hit or miss out here. My other neighbor, the one that I love that has all the goats, he called me the other morning. He woke me up with a call the other morning at 8 8 a.m. And he was like, I forgot, I have to go get a knee injection this morning, and I was leaving my <gasps> property, and as I was leaving, I saw this goat, like, poop out a baby. That's not what he said. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but that's what happened. And he was like, and then she just walked away. So can you go to my place, and can you reunite the baby goat with its mother? <laughs> at, at eight in the morning, <laughs> on, like, a work day. And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I went to his place. Go, went in the pasture sure enough there is a baby a newborn <gasps> baby goat on the ground uh-huh. covered in amniotic fluid flu- fluid fluid and like yolk and yuck Ew. and covered in dirt sitting on the ground laying on the ground and then i went to walk over to it and all the goats left because Aww. none of them claimed it as they its don't own. like him yeah and so i spent an hour and a half trying to like asking the goats whose baby this was it's like, whose is this? I would like hold it up and I'd be like, is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? None of them. Just no interest whatsoever. And then I had to look at the butts of the goats to see if there was <sighs> any was like placenta. Yeah, yeah. To see if there was any placenta on the backs of the goats. Uh, and I I found one and I was like, this got to be it. And then I caught it. And then I sent a picture to my neighbor and he's like, not her. So I had to let it go. So I was there for an hour and a half. <laughs> I could not find the mother. So I just dried off the baby and sat with it. And then he came back and then he found the mother. And then he forced the baby to nurse on its mother so that it eat, ate food and survived. And it did survive. And then I spent the entire day streaming at my neighbor's house, helping him take care of all the animals because he had a knee injection that morning. <laughs> Sometimes... Goats, you know, not everybody is cut out to be a good mother, okay? Sometimes goats uh, don't have it in them. She just wanted to let that baby die. That's sad for me. Yeah, but she's alive. Okay, I'm pulling up. What else did you do this week? I'm in such Uh, a blur right now. My brain has not been working. Um... Other things that I did this week, I went thrifting and I got a dress for a renaissance fair that I'm going to this weekend. I sent you the dress. You did do that. Yeah. And it's really, really cute. And then I went to, I I got drunk. Oh, I went to a wine bar and I had orange wine. We should actually have that. Orange wine? Yeah. I think it's just made the same as other wines. And I don't know if it's a Texas thing or what, but it's like really good. I liked it a lot. So we can bring back wine about it. Okay, let's bring back. Let's hey, hey, let's let's take back what's ours, which is wine about it. Let's let's bring it back. Do you want to? Oh, I read a crazy. Uh, Am I the asshole the other day? Okay, and it was this guy. His whole thing. I read it to Lud. There's this guy. His whole thing was he's like, "Am I the asshole?" Because I want oral, and my wife won't give it to me. Uh, 
because she says that like normal sex is enough to get him off but she still needs oral because normal sex isn't enough to get her off and he's like i he's like i'll spend two hours fingering her until i fall asleep and she still won't finish and i'm like okay this is so much two to unpack. hours is isn't that crazy i don't yeah. know why she would let him stay down there for two hours yeah here's That's the, thing. the craziest part to me my first impression of that whole thing is that it probably physically is true, but in principle, it's you shouldn't. It's not ideal, <laughs> dude. No, no, no. It also, is probably like, just, physically true that he does not need oral to get off, but she does. Yeah, it's yeah, probably, no, no, no. I agree. I true. agree. That could be. Yeah, that that makes sense. But obviously, switching things up is great uh, for everybody. But like, it just, it just, it just the whole thing was just like you both just sound miserable. <laughs> Like, if she's not giving right. you any advice after two hours. Yeah, what's going on there? Is she just not that you're just saying in there blind? anything? Two hours. I wonder if he was exaggerating. Could you imagine Probably two hours? He's a man. That sounds miserable. Probably he's a man. I, I exaggerate can't, more than anyone in the world. I don't know what you're talking I about. I can't imagine more than, like, for all of sex, like the whole. Uh -huh the whole process i i can't imagine more than an hour and an hour is yeah i agree crazy. and that's a long time yeah. yeah yeah i um i do have a or uh what else do you have before i i hop in this that was pretty much it i mean i have the other topic but it's completely separate and doesn't make sense right now so <laughs> continue okay 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 i have this um Uh, one second oh that's donut gate i thought i deleted that i have this fun reddit i do have that one thing that i sent the group i forgot about it's not it's not a lot to talk about i just thought it was really funny oh well let's just do that right now it was just also, a, it was just a tweet Sorry to anyone. I feel like we're being very chill this week, and it's because we're both exhausted. Whoa! It is uh, <laughs> eleven thirty at night. <laughs> yeah, this was the only time um, we could squeeze in filming. Yeah, I just thought it was funny, and it just showed up randomly on my for you pages. This guy tweeted, "Fear and daughter, or whine about its son," <laughs> which I feel like it should be the opposite. No, because fear whine about it daughter would be the obvious choice, actually. So never mind. Well, no, it it the uh, someone's asked someone someone's asked um will this. They said the yard son or whine about a daughter. That's such an obvious answer. What? That's not even whine about a daughter. Why? Because it's a daughter and we're funnier and better. <laughs> oh. It's <laughs> not an obvious answer. Some people don't want a daughter. Also, okay. we have some we have some dank stories. We're lucky we survived. You wanna you wanna you wanna give birth to it? You wanna deal with the daughter with that much trauma? That's fair. Or do you want Aiden, who's just happy all the time? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what do they even talk about on the yard? I've never. That's kind of is that drama? Up. I've never watched it. I've never watched. It's one. okay. They've never I've watched wine about it. I've never listened helpful. to one either. They they. They are an anomaly, I will say. Their they podcast talk about is nothing. fascinating. Interesting, they, but it's, it's good. like Seinfeld. Yeah, they talk about nothing, but it's such a good podcast. It really is. I genuinely think they're one of the best ones out there. Why can't we do that? Because we aren't as funny as them. Really? I think so. Huh. Maybe we're not as... Okay, okay, okay. There's a few ways to look at this. You I've know thought about this. What? Do you think maybe it's just an attitude thing? What do you mean? Because they're because they're so like happy. <laughs> they're I thought so about that like, too. Yeah, chill and like you know, Aiden could go in there and say like, "I had a lollipop today," and they'd be like, "Oh, Aiden, I'm so happy for you. I love no, you no, know, that's not I what it's no, no. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what okay. happens. You say you're okay. Aiden. I'm Aiden. Yeah, I had a lollipop that? today. 
I'm slime. And I go, Oh, you had, you had a, you had a lollipop. My little, my little chubby boy. Are you getting, are you getting big for me? Are you getting big for me, Aiden? Ooh, I love when you're big for me. You're my, you're my little goblin, Aiden. I'm just going to get you, man. And then Nick is like, dude, imagine if Aiden just got so fat that we could take him to the top of the hill and roll like, and just like push him down and see how fast he goes. And then Ludwig's like, Ludwig's like, uh, yeah. And then we could make a YouTube video where it's like, we fattened up the boys and Aiden rolled the fastest. And then it goes back to slime. And he's like, I like you, man. Why you were late though. Ludwig you were late today and then Nick is like we're talking about Ludwig being late again and then Aiden's like I'm going to Copenhagen like that's all they do they just go off these weird tangents about shit crap you know what you know what actually now that you've said that and I believe that's a very accurate representation of what happens it's impressive. I think it's because we cannot care about stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> like cutie if you told me if you're like maya imagine you like got really fat okay that's layered <laughs> oh. imagine you were like you're like maya imagine if you got like really athletic one day and you were able to run down a hill super fast and then i was at the bottom i'd be like what are you talking about <laughs> yeah like, what are you talking about and if i said that you'd do the same thing you'd tune me out you'd be like okay so what are we actually talking about today <laughs> Mine was admittedly like a less clever example of some like a tangent they would go on, but they just were. And if one person, that's the thing about them. If one person starts fumbling, another interjects with just something. Maybe it's, we need I think, more people. Well, I do. I think four people is a huge buff. Admittedly. Yeah. I think it's a massive buff because if, if, if two of us didn't do anything over the week, one of us did, you know, if right. there's four, Except for right. on Fear and where we're all streamers. <laughs> right. But yeah, the yard, I mean, none of them are main streamers. And so they just have stories. It's just like, and it doesn't even matter if they have stories because they will literally talk about paint drying and how it like looked like cum or something. Maybe it's just the male brain is just so easily amused. I don't know. I think they are really, I think they are professionals at yes anding, which you and mm -hmm. I are pretty good at if we are in a good enough mood, but they are consistently yeah. good at it. Yeah. Like they are, that's their, they, they, that's their bread and butter. Hmm. Maybe we need to get better at that. Should we practice? No. Yes and. Sure. Yes. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> See, this is the problem. See, this is our problem. <laughs> I already said no. Okay. I will uh -huh. go first. Today, okay. I had a bagel, and I also had a grilled cheese sandwich, and it was really exciting because bread is my favorite food, and I ate it twice. No one cares, Maya. <laughs> Dude, that is so fear and of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Should we see what the replies to this tweet are? The top one is Austin Show Cutie Cinderella fictional podcast non-binary offspring. Thank you. Congratulations Whoa. on your child. Fear and daughter. Misogynistic interrupts guest always talks about the same three things. Wine about its son, Damn. allied to women, knows how to talk goss, goes to therapy. <laughs> oh, this feels embarrassing. <gasps> uh, um, I think that's yard, our problem. We don't have enough goss. We need more gossip. Bastard child. Okay. What is some gossip that I could share underneath layers that wouldn't... Dude, <laughs> the people don't understand. We have more goss have so than much goss. anyone on the planet. Dude, if we, you guys knew... Cutie and I stay on the phone. Cutie and I are on the phone for at least an hour every day. <laughs> like, literally every day. And it's just goss. It's all goss. It's everybody's goss. We can't talk about any of the goss. You know what I wish we were like? I wish we were like Brooke and Tana because they do talk about the goss. Yeah, but we do not. why do people, is, how do people keep hanging out with them? Because they are pretty and have a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, they and we are not. <laughs> um, We need to get prettier and get more money. Yeah, and we need to be less afraid of talking about goss. Um, so I will well, that's be brave we, like, and I will We go genuinely first. have like harmful goss. <laughs> no, I know. That's and why I, they, but do I don't they think have they harmful spread goss? like harmful goss. No. What? They have very like lighthearted goss. 
they had Which a thing I recently for the where record, we don't mean to have harmful gossip it just gets to us and by us <laughs> it gets to cutie <laughs> And then we this talk is what about what happens the for the record. I do events. And so I'll get a phone call that's like, hey, can you not sit me next to this person at the stream rewards because they f my mom? And I'm like, that is okay. so crazy. Who would have guessed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they did a thing recently where they talked about, actually, they talked about this girl that was like really mean to Brooke and they used, you know, not real names. But then their, found, their fan base found out who it was. And then she like did a whole TikTok rant and she was like, this is so unfair. Like, this is what actually happened. Bah, 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 bah. <gasps> See, I don't like that. I don't, yeah, I don't, like I don't that care. Either. None of our stories are attached like in that way. I think they're all just like very loose, 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 loose. Well, the yard doesn't have goss either. They don't Never have goss. Yes. Yeah, so well, we this just, is we... what this is this is what the yard does. The yard comes up with a bunch of <laughs> misinformation. I think the most dramatic. <laughs> this is funny. The most dramatic thing that's ever happened from the yard goss is that is that slime came up with a false narrative <laughs> that Sykuno likes diaper play. Um. He doesn't, nor has he ever said that. <laughs> But Slime decided to go on a rant about this. Um, a, just like a joke. Just a totally crazy joke I about how that actually why didn't he go thinks over that. Well. It did not. Yeah. To the yeah. point that like I was at dinner with some people and some people were like, hey, what's this guy Slime's problem? And I was like, oh, shit. How do I defend that? <laughs> like, yeah. I was that's like, a tough oh, one. no, Slime. Nah, why'd you do this to me? And so then, so then like, I was like, he's just being funny. And they're like, it's not funny. And I was like, fair, that's fair. That's <laughs> totally fair. Like, what? yeah, like, yeah, you know? And so then, but that's what slime does. The slime doesn't care. So he'll just lie. About right. <laughs> Which is cool for him. But I, I do care. Um, what, what do you guys think? that we should be talking about but they've asked like, this before no they just like us talking they said the problem i mean genuinely is it's just that we're tired this week we're just a little tired they just like they like feeling like they're on a phone call which you guys are this is that we crap i keep swearing ah! <clears throat> this is stuff we talk about on a phone call so it, it is you guys are on a fine phone call um on our phone but, calls actually it gets way more don't Spicy. don't don't bait them with their phone calls that they'll never be able to hear it gets way more yeah. our phone calls our spicy phone calls they're on the patreon <laughs> actually we oh my gosh i can say this this is a fun goss. this is fun goss can i yeah i can it's so yeah. old this is about um a uh uh there was a female content creator years ago called me one time and she was like hey <laughs> when do you think i should announce my uh Pregnancy. uh my boyfriend because she had a boyfriend mm -hmm. uh she was like because i think we're getting engaged soon and so i feel like i should tell people i have a secret boyfriend um and i was like yo that's crazy i would just say i had a boyfriend like that's you know i think it like is hard to keep up with i would just say it before you get engaged or uh whatever like just say it now mm -hmm. um and and she never did still yeah it's been years wow interesting i think they might be engaged <laughs> congratulations to you yeah two. so i don't know <laughs> I and that's an interesting that that marks an interesting question because it's like so are you just gonna like one day say you're married or are you just never gonna say anything or are you just and you don't have to for the record mm -hmm. you don't no one has to it's just mm -hmm. uh i just wonder I like, I think of like Alicia, that streamer that just like one day was like, so I had a baby. That's funny. And just no one knew she was pregnant because she was wearing big yeah. hoodies and stuff on stream. And like, right. I don't even know if people I, knew she was I mean, with, you certainly with don't someone. owe information to anybody. However, no. I think it does get to a point where like you, you have to really maneuver around it intentionally. Like yeah. I... I did the whole public relationship thing. I will certainly never do it again. I will never like make videos with my boyfriend and stream with him and whatever. It's just, it's not for me anymore. Um, but I'm very open about having one. 
but I don't like them knowing him and like knowing our relationship. Yeah, no, I but think I that's fine. I couldn't, I couldn't just not say that I have one, except for in the first couple months. It's kind of like announcing a pregnancy. Oh, that's a little crazy. No, that's way more dramatic. You're wrong. Actually. That is way more dramatic. Yeah. Cause, but it is the concept of like you don't know what's gonna happen in the first couple of months, so you just don't tell everybody. And, yeah. Um, I waited a bit before I was like, oh, I'm my boyfriend, and they're like, ah, boyfriend, 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 boyfriend. Yeah. Boyfriend. Um. But I, I like I like people knowing, but not knowing him, you know? Yeah. But it's too hard to keep a secret like that. That's a lot of work. That's, That's a, a lot, lot of, work. of work. Yeah. I don't like that. Um, I do have... The only goss that I have is a continuation on the goss from the last week's Patreon episode where I actually was very mad and talked to a bunch of... S H I T. Oh, and my I have gosh. a You have to share that goss. <laughs> that I have to share. Wait, also, you never updated you never updated the YouTube before we go to the Patreon. You never updated the YouTube on that guy from college? No clue. Nothing. Yeah, that's the update. She asked all of her friends. No one knows. But okay. No one knows. But it's not like he's a mystery, like I'm like insane and I never met him. I know that I met him. I just don't remember where. I think it yeah. was probably, I think he was probably a frat guy that I like met at a frat party. I know I did not go on a date with him. Did I make out with him? Possibly. But I don't think so. Did I sleep with him? Definitely not. Definitely not. That's huge. Yeah. Did I have a class with him? Probably. That's all I got. That's all I know. Dude, I'm sitting here. I'm like, what did we even talk about for the last hour? I don't know. It was. It was. What enough. are we gonna title this? <laughs> what are we gonna title this episode? What the heck did we just talk about? Um, making fun of the yard. <laughs> did we make? Maybe we title it. We want to be the yard. We wish we were the yard. I think the first one is more baity. <laughs> making fun of them. Yeah. But we only said nice things. I didn't. What'd you say? I said men are really easily entertained. <laughs> and they boring. might just be happier than us the more I think about it. They might just I be I think that probably people. is it. I, I I think genuinely like having conversations with people that are super happy is so easy because anything you say they're all over and actually interested in. Well, I and also I think, we think just it's don't care. good because uh uh Nick and Slime are both writers and mm -hmm. so they can just go on tangents right maybe you and i need to write more <laughs> i don't think that we're not we know. just need we just need to be less tired we we'll be less be tired in... next week everybody thanks for watching we're going to the patreon where we i have we're we're gonna read this article about um which this article i've been saving which we haven't gotten to um because and we got distracted here um about uh it looks really interesting i've held on to it let me find the title um what's the price of a child turned into content it's about uh oh wait i don't know where the one went i saved one a different one i saved one about the sexualization sexualization of twitch Space. but i can't do you have that one where did i put it um anyway uh so we'll talk about one of those things um or both of those things. Crap. And then uh, update on Jojo Siwa, which we owe to the Patreon episode. And then update <laughs> on your drama. I have Jojo dude. Siwa update, dude. I need to share my update on the thing I was mad about last week because I'm more mad about it this week. I actually cannot believe it. I got blocked. I'm going to go explain it. Bye. Bye. Dude, I saw some hairy buttholes on Twitch. What? That trend with the camera. Mm -hmm. on the butt wow it's crazy so people were doing butt cameras and there was this one girl very brave of her she had a butt camera her butt was so hairy and that's fine if your butt is hairy i'm just like surprised because usually we're very ashamed of our body hair as women mm -hmm. her butt was hairy as hell it was crazy and it's fine wow. that it was hairy it was just crazy i've never seen a hairy butt <laughs>